Fifteen hundred, we're at our deadline. Shit. Barely made it. My affiliation. And you finally come. Lector. Intelligence Division. Who? Think you could have cut that a little closer? Yeah, that's... this is some touchy stuff. To alert level 2. Okay, so... we might be able to work some shit out. Good, 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 good. Same day, 1900. That's 7 o'clock.
Another airship. Gideon. Precisely on time. Comrade G, you've done well. This guy again. Comrade C, I wasn't expecting you to come all this way. A leader has to make sure all the gears are moving as they should. It sounds like the plan was a resounding success. Keep your pity to yourself. Our aim was to stir up a conflict with the Republic that would force him to let his guard down. To that end, this wretched state of affairs could hardly be called a success. And yet, even this outcome will work to our advantage in the days ahead. Turning a defeat into a victory. After all, we demonstrated that he faces the risk of his ranks being divided without warning at any time. And neither the Icy Maiden nor Scarecrow can hope to outwit us. Scarecrow? Maiden? You have a point. We should begin making preparations for the next step of our plan. The time has finally come to present ourselves on the world stage. <laughs> That's the spirit. At least all's well that ends well, right? Sarah! Everyone in Group A is safe, and we narrowly avoided war with Calvard. Though I can't say I was expecting the Intelligence Division to show up when they did. A jet black airship. Probably one of Reinford's latest models. The military uses them for reconnaissance. The nobles and the rich just use them for fun. But as for how they got one... You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? <laughs> Shannon! You really are a sharp one, Lady Sarah. It's almost troubling. What the hell is going on? I'm impressed that you can tell I was there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you let me have that one. I felt a familiar sensation, though, just for a second. Makes me think back to this one time, two years ago. Two years ago, you say? Never mind. But you really don't know, then, where that airship came from? I'm afraid not. I checked the Reinford Group's manufacturing records and couldn't find a trace. At least, not in the official files. <laughs> Sounds like Reinford has its own issues to deal with. Well, let's put that aside for now. I'm on my way to settlement. Work. What are you planning to do? Hmm. Well, I would like to give my regards to Master Gwen, so I would like to accompany you if that's alright. I can hardly wait to see the look on Lady Elisa's face when I show up. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm honestly kind of wanting to see that myself. Sometimes I actually feel bad for that girl. Thank you all for everything. Yeah, that's... I probably should be saying this, but... I don't know. Thank you so much. Instructor! 
And grandfather, at least try to be serious this once. I like this guy. Yeah, you didn't like the heavy artillery. Uh, I'd say a gun that can be fired at pretty much any range. As long as there's train rails nearby, it's a pretty strategic value. It has some strategic value. They can shell battlefields and minimize casualties on your own front. Just wipe out enemy. They can just wipe out an enemy military compound completely, and the only casualties of war are theirs. The only reason they could be instruments of mass murder is if terrorist organizations got hold of them and fired upon civilians in unmilitarized zones. Oh. Yeah, I bet you'd love to have her waiting on your hand and foot. Oh, there's some text glitching on the tech and the textures back there. I don't know if it'll be picked up on my recording or not. I noticed it on my TV screen. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. I've got a little reward here for you. Ingenuity. Keep up the good work. <laughs> good showing, everyone. Auto tier and cover. Cover and counterattack. Counterattack for Gaius and cover for Reen. That's good. Beyond the Railways. I can cover these up now. These have been already edited and produced. It's getting real in this game. Imperial Palace. Negotiations with the Republican government are Claire. complete. The possibility of an armed conflict in the Nord Highlands has been successfully averted. 
However, they did demand that we hand over the mercenaries responsible from the attack as part of their terms. Fair enough. <laughs> I suppose that's acceptable. After all, it was a shortcoming on our side that allowed that incident to occur. We should consider this a chance to place Rocksmith in our debt, especially with the trade conference on the horizon. Yes, sir. Though, it's regrettable that we were unable to catch the Mastermind. There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the ringleaders. <laughs> indeed. It seems we'll need to exercise greater caution from now on, if this is what they're capable of. Our next concern is the upcoming Summer Festival. Any thoughts as to the optimal placement of the Ironbloods? I believe their primary target will be next month's trade conference. I propose posting Lecter to the east and Milliam to the west. That leaves me here to take care of the capital. <laughs> it's almost like you read my mind. Very well then, I'll leave the preparations to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> With all respect, don't be afraid of working me hard, sir. I could run these kinds of logistics in my sleep. Ha! I am all too aware of how indebted I am to your abilities. Right. That's why I'm leaving the Summer Festival in your capable hands. Perhaps you may even consider using them as a test. I... Please excuse my intrusion, Your Excellency. His Excellency the Governor has arrived and wishes to speak with you. Ah! Show him in. Governor. As you wish, sir. Coming in. Mapius' father. Oh, forgive my intrusion. I didn't realize you had company. No, it's quite all right. I just finished giving my report. It's wonderful to see you again, Governor. Likewise. I think it's been, what, two months since we last spoke? I'm in your debt for helping out with the security arrangements at last month's commemoration event at City Hall. I've been looking forward to thanking you in person. Glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to pass on your thanks to everyone else involved. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Good work as always, Captain. It never ceases to amaze me that a woman like that heads up the Iron Bloods. Your icy maiden has the provincial armies positively scared stiff. <laughs> Competent as she is, she's not the group's primary member. But she and the rest of the Iron Bloods continue to do some fine work, especially against those cunning vipers amongst the ranks of the nobility and the four great houses in particular. <laughs> Yeah. Agreed. But we'll need to stay vigilant. <laughs> I'm pleased that you agree. Imperial Governor Carl Regnitz. His name's Carl. The feeling's mutual. Chancellor Gileath Osborne. Gileath. Of course. And that's exactly why I intend to go with him. Next month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name, but it's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times. So the discussions won't be limited to economic matters. Regional security and other timely issues are sure to come up. I see. So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? Precisely. President Rocksmith will represent the Republic of Calvert, of course. Prince Albert will be representing the Principality of Ramaferia as its head of state. So, the Republic is an actual true Republic. Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. And representing Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croix and Speaker McDowell. All of them are either heads of state or their acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative of the Imperial Government. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? Indeed, and that's why I'm planning to go as well, even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. The Imperial family needs to be represented, to make sure all sides are on equal terms. You shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. 
but I think I understand the situation. I feel so ashamed. I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. Hmm? Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been staring me in the face. I wish every day I had the intelligence and quick-wittedness you possess. And I wonder, am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from father? Okay, you two are nobles. <laughs> Who are you they? Know, Her Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. Really? She did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. But eventually, she came to terms with her own inexperience and vowed that she would strive each day to overcome it. And I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Oliver. Oliver. Thank you. Your support means a lot to me. That said, I do think you should spend more of your time living life the way you want to. I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to indulge your interests once in a while. <laughs> I am how I am, I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. <laughs> well, I think it'd be less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. Another thing. I sometimes find myself admiring Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed nature as well. Oh? He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year, despite the opposition's objections. But ever since then, I've heard the number of orbital car accidents has fallen dramatically. I can see why Father trusts him so much. Well, I wouldn't disagree that was a fine piece of policymaking. Was it? I don't know, maybe? The campaign he launched with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But, on the other hand... Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a stuffy political discussion? Her! That girl with Elise. Alfin? Oh, have your lessons already finished for the day? Indeed! They gave us the afternoon off to prepare for the summer festival! But come on, Cedric. You need to stop Cedric. taking everything so seriously. Cedric, Oliver, and Lefin. We're Lefin. 15! It's far too early for us to be worrying about politics. Actually, I'm not sure 15 is too early, to be honest. What you should be concerned about is being more of a man at official parties. Blushing head to toe just from a lady asking you to dance? Shameful. Totally shameful. So he's bashful. Come on, why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> you know, that did wonders for his popularity. <laughs> at that party, were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a harp. Well, I can't deny that. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a youthful flower than me. Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> that reminds me, Alfin. Have you decided on your dance partner for the upcoming garden party? Yeah! You've always avoided dancing at official functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? Well, I do have someone in mind this time. Although whether I can get him to say yes... It's rain. <laughs> really? My, my. It sounds like you aren't just blowing smoke. Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out. You're really going to dance with someone? C could it be a son from one of the four great houses? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to discover. He is a noble, though. I'll give you that much. It's rain. She was swooning oh, over him at the train me. station. Prince Oliver? I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you. I think it might be Cedric, too.
Elise. I should open that letter from Reen that came in this morning. <sighs> I'm almost afraid to think how Her Highness would have reacted if she found this. Dear Miss Schwarzer. <laughs> really, Reen? Still Miss Schwarzer? I'm your own sister. What? <laughs> Reen, why? What did he write her? Mid July. Oh, Summer that had cat. come to Trista, and that meant it was time for us students to dust off our short-sleeved shirts. Months of experience under our belts, we finally found ourselves adjusting to the rigors of our coursework. And it was during those early days of summer, before the heat became well and truly withering, that we <laughs> saw the start of a uniquely seasonal new lesson. All right, that should be enough of a warm up. I'm supposed to remind you that swimming classes here are meant to teach you skills relevant to military service. You know, how not to drown if you wind up in the water, how to save others from drowning, CPR, that kind of stuff. In fact, CPR is a pretty vital skill on any battlefield. Reen, Elisa, would you care to give us a demonstration? Uh, instructor! In front of everyone? Come on, guys, just kidding around. Point is, it's still important that you learn how to do it and that you won't hesitate to use it if the need arises. He's got a wicked scar on his chest. Wonder how he got that. Whether that means locking lips with someone of the same sex or the opposite? <laughs> uh. Of course. Well, it is a skill we can use to save someone's life. After we've covered that, I'll be timing how long it takes each of you to swim the length of the pool. Will you give me a hand, Laura? As you wish. You're up, Gaius. Ready, and go! You're next, Emma. Ready, go! Wow, look at guys go! Yeah, I already used to swim in that lake in the highlands every summer, so I kind of expected that. Emma's a lot faster than I thought she'd be too. Though it's not much her swimming ability that I envy. <laughs> what do you... Oh. Oh, I get it. You don't need to get it. Anyway, what are you doing just staring at girls in swimsuits? Not staring. My eyes are just pointed in that general direction. Well, any guy would have a hard time taking his eyes off of our class's girls. I'm not even sure who to gawk at first. Elliot, foot in the mouth. I mean, even the other guys are handsome. You're pretty toned yourself, Reen. Foot in the mouth. You think? Well, it does look like you put a lot into your exercise and training. There's a wicked scar on his As chest. As for you, Elliot. I think you're better just the way you are. Short and skinny? Oh, really? I don't think I want to imagine Elliot all buff and ripped. Hmm? Hey, 
What's that on the left side of your chest, Green? Some kind of scar? You huh? just now noticed? Oh, you're right. It's so faint that I hadn't noticed it before. Oh, that. It's... some kind of mark. It's been there as long as I can remember. Don't know how I got it, though. Wow! Actually, when I look at it more closely, it looks more like a bunch of little scars all knit together. It makes you look really manly and tough. I kind of wish I had one now. Surgery, maybe, when he was younger? Seriously? It really wouldn't suit you. Trust me. <sighs> Can't believe we finished with the exact same time. We must be destined to strive against each other forever. <sighs> what are you talking about? The only one I was competing against was myself. And even then, I barely put much effort into it. Well, it's not like I was giving my best either. <laughs> These two. They always have respect for each other. <sighs> that was refreshing. I wouldn't mind swimming a little longer, actually. Okay. Laura, are you ready? I'll time your lap. Though I doubt I really need to, considering you're in the swimming club. No, please do. So Laura's next. You can tell she's a member of the swimming club. Just look at the way she stands on the block. Ready, and go! Whoa, she's fast. Uh, how is she doing it? Impressive. Whew. Well done. Let's see, 20.02 seconds. Not bad at all. All right, I think it's time for me to dive into the mix. Everyone, pick a partner. It's time for a little head-to-head -head competition. Well, so much dialogue. Work. So much dialogue. Uh oh, race. <laughs> it appears we've been given a chance to settle this once and for all. I'm ready when you are. I think we'd be a good match, Emma. How about it? <laughs> True. Our times were pretty close. Hmm. How about it, Laura? Want to partner up with me? Not today, I'm afraid. I wish to challenge Fee this time. Oh yeah, Fee was a Jaeger. Me? Laura? But your times weren't even close. Well, all right, let's go with that. I guess that leaves me with... Reen. It's your lucky day again! <laughs> I like this lighting. Wait, why me? Because... Cougars? I don't know. The second before him. Exhausted. You know, this seems like it would be pretty effective as part of a diet plan. Oh, it would. Uh, swimming like that is a very good exercise. Okay, let's see what you got. Y yeah. There's no way I'm going to win this, is there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Go easy on me, guys. <laughs> Same to you. Ready? Go! So do I button mash now? Triangle or circle? Okay. I don't even know what the hell I was doing. I mean, I'd like another Ready? go at that. Go. Now that I have a better idea on what I'm doing. Ha ha! I... 
I actually won. That you did, boy. <laughs> Nicely done, Reen. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Okay, are you both ready? There's a little too much detail put in our swimsuits. Not quite. Fee, how about giving it all you've got this time? Huh? Uh, Laura? What if I already did? I don't think so. I could tell just by watching you. Don't make light of me. Your earlier time was certainly not the best you're capable of. Well, it's not very polite to your opponent to hold back. Mm. This isn't like the battlefields you grew up fighting on. It's a place you can grow and better yourself by challenging others. Deep down, I know you realize that. <sighs> mm. Good. Then let us begin. Hmm. Looking at them like this, it's obvious how different their builds are. Yeah, one's about a foot taller than the other. If build were all that mattered, we would have turned in faster times than either of them. I imagine the difference lies in their control of their bodies. Yeah, this'll be one to watch. Ready? Go! What? I incredible! Tie. Whoa. Which of them was first? It was too close to call. No, there was a tiny difference. Laura came out ahead on this one. Having longer arms might have been the deciding factor, even. Oh, I wish I could have joined in. <laughs> well done. <sighs> the same to you. You can do this when you want to, and yet, you consistently hold back. Why? No reason, really? Too much effort, I guess. It seems we truly cannot find a middle ground. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like there should be a tenth member of the class. That empty chair is just gonna bother me. got things to do.
yeah. Become buddies. You must be sniffing roses in the Garden of Delusions if you think I'm a friend of his. They at least respect each other. Dish and dash, but I got a club meeting. Obtained the class seven uniform. Okay. Oh, that's just. Why, that's just the summer uniform. He just took the jacket off. Still in pants, though. Holy crap, this one's been going a while. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel 2. It's not the second one yet. Do you have the second one? I got that today. And I will be covering it on this channel, but that's not important. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I go do things. I don't know what to do on the in between time like this, but until then, I am the Dark Sir. Signing off.